Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a future bounce track. So, make sure to like this video, and subscribe to the channel, and let's start the video. Set the tempo to 128 BPM, and lay down some chords. Add a simple melody. Add some pads to create tension. Add a simple bass line. Add some impacts. Some claps. and some shakers and this is how our intro sounds like Remove all the drums, and add an impact at the beginning of the breakdown. And this is how the breakdown sounds like. Add some build up drums. Add a sub drop. Add some shakers. And I used a clock ticking sound as a fill before the drop. Don't forget to add the drop lead with a cut off automation, and this is how our build up sounds like. Start the drop with a kick. And add some claps. Layer some more claps. Add some sounds to make the track more interesting. Here, I used a clock ticking sound. At the second part of the drop. Add some hi-hats, some shakers, and some rides. Guys, this is the drop lead. I sign chained it. Added some EQ, a fruity filter for a cut off automation, and some reverb. I added this white noise to support the drop lead. This is the drop bass. Guys, a little tip when creating a bass for future bounce is taking some notes in Octava. It'll add an awesome bouncy feeling to the song. I sign chained it, added some EQ, some saturation, and a fruity filter for a cut off automation. These are the drop chords. I sign chained it, and added some EQ. Add that sub bass. I sign chained it, and added some EQ. Guys, at the second part of the drop, I added the pads we used in the intro. So, our track is done. 
Before we see the final result, I have some news for you guys. My new song Moving is coming out on 10th of December. Here's a little sneak peek of it. So, make sure to pre-save it using the link in the description, and let's see our final result. Thank you.